Hey, I'm Emma, and six months ago, I was dating this really cool guy. His name was Ronaldo, and he was just like Russell Brand. Totally off the wall and always saying crazy things, but also couldn't stop flirting with other girls. But that never bothered me, because he said I was the only one for him, and I believed it. When he asked me to be his girlfriend, I was ecstatic, and we immediately moved together. But one day, he told me his ex-girlfriend, Laura, had sent him a message. It said, I forgive you for everything. I want to get back with you, and I can't live without you. I was glad he showed me the text, but I never expected what came next. He said he wanted me to be his first girlfriend, and he wanted Laura to be his second girlfriend. Wow! Any other guy, I would have said no, but Ronaldo was so damn charming, and I was completely addicted to him. That's why I agreed. I just couldn't bear the thought of being without him. And at least I was still the first girlfriend, right? Well, when Laura moved in, it was super awkward. She was gorgeous, just like a model. And straight away, I was worried Ronaldo would get bored with me and only want to be with her. But then Ronaldo introduced us to each other. And, uh, I don't want to go into the details. Anyway, you can imagine how crazy it all was. But then the problem started. Laura was always trying to get Ronaldo to tell me to leave so she could be alone with him. It drove me nuts. We were always arguing over how much time we would each have with him. Of course, Ronaldo loved that we were fighting over him. He always had a smirk on his face when we were arguing, and he always said, Don't worry, ladies, there's enough of me for both of you. But then one day, she accidentally put my colored and white clothes into the same washing load, ruining all my white clothes. I was furious. I stopped talking to her and did something very bad with her toothbrush, but I'd better not tell you what I did with it. But let's just say I did it more than once. In the end, none of it mattered, because soon after, Ronaldo broke up with both of us. He said he had to move on, but I knew he just grew tired of us. I was upset, but part of me was also relieved. I didn't have to deal with sharing my boyfriend anymore. But here's the thing about Ronaldo. I always kind of knew our relationship wasn't going to last forever. He's just not the kind of guy you settle down and build a family with. But still, I don't regret staying with him for as long as I did. He was always clear about what he wanted, never lied to me, and I had a lot of fun. If everyone was like Ronaldo, the world would be chaos. But still, I wish more guys were as free-spirited as him. It's so sexy, and life was never boring with him. Today, I still miss him, but I've already accepted that I'll never meet someone like him again. But that's life, I guess. You can't have everything, but luckily, you also don't need everything to live a happy life. I think that finding Mr. Perfect is impossible. Everyone has flaws. I know I do. I don't work out. I eat crappy food. I'm really grumpy first thing in the morning. So instead of worrying about finding the perfect guy, I'll look for someone who treats me well and who's interested in a serious long-term relationship. Thank you for listening to my story, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.